friends, this is Josh Hayward and welcome to another Back Porch Brew Review. It is an amazing Friday afternoon. Got the sun setting over here on my left side and it, what better way to enjoy a great springtime day than on the back porch with an amazing brew. I've got an awesome beer for you guys today. Um, I had the opportunity to have this beer a couple of weeks ago. My wife took a trip up to Athens, Georgia and stopped in at Creature Comforts and brought me back some cold treats. And this was one of the amazing beers she brought me back. Uh, I'd never had it before. She brought me the six pack and I absolutely fell in love with this beer and just had to share it with you guys. But this is their classic city lager. I believe it has quickly become their flagship lager. Kind of one of the go-tos there, uh, there at the Creature Comforts location. Um, but but uh, this is, comes in at 4.2% ABV and just a, a classic lager. Um, I like the, the top there, the top there of the can says good cold beer. I think that you actually have some signage um, out in front of their location that says that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, just a really great solid lager beer. Um, it's something that I think of whenever I think of enjoying a great brew on the porch or enjoying a great brew in the springtime. So definitely had to share it with you guys. If you're ever in the Georgia area, be on the lookout for Creature Comforts. They do distribute throughout the state and uh, you will not be disappointed. Look at that, just beautiful. Um, they're most notably known, notably known for Tropicalia. That's their flagship IPA, really put them on the map. Um, uh, years back really and uh, just an incredible IPA that also has a nice hint of juiciness too it's kind of um, it's it's very hop forward and, and and bitter but also has a nice juiciness too so it's a great beer um, I've done a review on that one in the past but uh, we're talking classic city lager tonight um, here we go look at this guys just a beautiful golden color uh, pale golden I would even say going more towards the straw type color there completely transparent i can see through that thing as we call them a crispy boy for sure about an inch worth of white head on that beer and it just looks beautiful as you would expect a proper lager beer to look again as i've said in several other of these back porch brew reviews when i've taken a look at lagers a brewery really can't hide when they produce a lager um, lagers are very tough to um, brew and brew well take it from a quote unquote, retired home brewer like myself, um, you really have to know what you're doing to create a good lager and a good lager consistently. And if you really want to test a brewery and see how good they are, try one of their lagers. And uh, Creature Comforts lives up to it with this one. Um, the uh, the way the fermentation takes place, the, the way the beer behaves, there are a lot of things that you have to control and you have to really do your due diligence in the brewing process to ensure that it comes out right. And uh, when a brewery takes the time and care, they can create an amazing product. Product. So uh, yeah, let's see what we've got on the nose for this one. Ah, nice br uh, light, light bready, crackery, white bread type aroma, and a little bit of uh, herbal hop aroma towards the towards the end too. Mainly on that breadiness. I uh, think think grape nuts. That's a good good type of thing to to, to compare it to. Um, that bready type crackery uh, flavor. If I say flavor, but I'm smelling it aroma. Yeah, more on that bready side. Let's see what we got. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. I absolutely love this beer. The thing I love about it, well, there's a lot of things I love about it. The thing that I notice most about it is just how light it is. It's light and refreshing and just an incredible flavor too. You get a lot of these big macro beers on the market, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll look light like this, but there's no flavor. It's watered down. There's not a whole lot to it. This is just, it's packing flavor. It's packing good maltiness. Again, the breadiness, the grape nuts type flavor, um, kind of subtle sweetness on the front end, crackery bread, light white bready. And then kind of mid taste, you're getting a fresh hoppiness, not overly hop. Don't think hoppiness when I'm talking IPAs or pale ales but a, a complimenting bittering hop that comes in mid taste and lasts throughout ta the taste. And as I'm continuing to talk, I'm getting some of it there too. I could drink this beer anytime. And as I'm enjoying this back porch brew review or back porch brew, I should say, I had a gnat that was trying to get at this thing. I had to knock him off the glass. This is my beer. This is one of those types of beers you can enjoy anywhere out on the porch, of course. 
I like to call them yard beers after you've done some yard work. Enjoy a nice beer, good pool beer, really good anytime beer. You can have this any time of year and it, it pairs well with a variety of different kinds of foods. Um, I love kind of the, the MO with this beer, good cold beer. It's kind of a good anytime season beer. You can enjoy it anytime. You can really appreciate it anytime. You can, uh, there's no, no wrong season for it. Um, and it's just, just always, always in season. A clean, crisp, easy drinking lager. They nailed it right on the head. The classic city lager, good cold beer for sure. I would reach for this good cold beer any day. Um, for me, this would be like if Creature Comforts was a little closer, I'd probably have more of these in my fridge. Um, it's just a good anytime beer, as I've said several times. But um, when you can find lagers like this that are easy drinking, uh, flavorful, um, they've been done really well and you can enjoy them anytime. Like to have all of those things together, that's a winner of a beer in my book. Um, yeah, we can appreciate beers for, hey, this tasted great or hey, um, and I can enjoy this at this time or this time. But when you have all that stuff line up, it's like a great anytime beer that just has amazing flavor. That's an incredible, incredible beer. Um, cheers to Creature Comforts on this one. I got to get over to Athens again to get some more of these things. These are absolutely amazing. Um, if anyone's watching this video and wants to send me some, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't turn it down. Uh, everything they're doing is really good. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Tropicalia is the flagship. Athena is the Berliner Weiss, as they're really, uh, really famous for. Both of those beers appeared in the uh, Avengers Endgame movie. Uh, Thor was actually drinking those, which is kind of cool. Cool story there. I think I talk about that story on a live video I did not too long ago. But anyway, if you're ever anywhere around Georgia, look for Creature Comforts in the uh, bottle shops, in the grocery stores, or if you're driving through Athens uh, to see the Georgia Bulldogs or something like that. Uh, I can't believe I just said that being a Clemson fan, but uh, check out Creature Comforts. It's definitely worth the detour. You definitely won't be disappointed. Cheers to Creature Comforts and to good cold beer. You guys have a great day. Cheers.